Excuse me, you up with a brew hot, one of your finest whiskeys, please? Got any idea? <laughs> That, uh, sufficient for you as an ID. Mm -hmm. Jesse, I haven't been much of a father. I've been one at all. Thanks. I've been trying to find the words to say what I need to say. I even went back to your mother's grave to speak to her again, but it didn't work. Thing is, I'm sorry. I started going back to. AA meetings again. I know I tried it a dozen times before. But I never went to more than three. I didn't think I needed it. Anyhow, I've been going two, three a day, and, uh, and I do need it. You know what? Keep going, but why don't you just get out of my face? Let me just say this. I'm sorry for the way I treated you growing up. I'm sorry for all the hell I gave Ed Bauer and his family. And I'm sorry I got... Roy's pals all worked up about that deaf girl. I blame myself for, for the fire and Michelle getting hurt. I'll never forgive myself. Never. I, uh, just thank God that she's okay now. And what I'm trying to say is that uh, if you do marry her, I swear I won't cause any more trouble for you or the Bowers. <laughs> so funny. You finally see the light, and guess what? Michelle left me. You and Michelle aren't together yeah, anymore? That's right. You got your wish. She never wants to see me again. <laughs> Jesse, Jesse, Jesse. <laughs> Michelle? Please just leave me alone. You're still upset about Jesse. A friend of mine called, and the next thing I knew, Jesse was on the phone, and he tried to convince me to come back and at least tell him where I was so that he could see me, but... You kept quiet. Yes, and I hate myself for it. I miss him so much, and just hearing his voice, I wanted to tell him where I was and that I love him, and I always will. Maybe you should have. No, I can't. I just, I can't. Look, I, I don't want to talk about this anymore. I don't mean to be rude, but just leave me alone, okay? I'll leave you alone, but you've got company. Who? Someone who loves you very much. Sweetheart. Dad. Dad. Your mother, she wants you to know that all's quiet on the home front. Mm -hmm. Our sweet little angel is snoozing, and your mom, she's uh, reading one of those books she gave her for Christmas. Jason's asleep, too. He has no idea what his brother's going through. Well, he's a lucky guy. Just the thought of Meg being hurt makes me crazy. Oh, don't even think about things like that. Well, I can't help it. That's one of the reasons why I want Meg to go to a good school. I've narrowed the list down, Red. I don't want to talk about us all moving away, okay? Even if it means finding a good school for Meg... I went to a, a meeting of parents of children with Down syndrome. And it sounds like there's this really great school in Toronto. Toronto? It's better than the other ones I've checked out so far. Look, I know, I know it would mean a very big move. But I talked to a couple who went to this school and they came back raving about the facilities, the staff, the teachers, the program. It sounds like the perfect Fletcher, place for me. this is out of the question. No. Okay. Now, that doesn't sound reasonable. Oh, come on. It's another country you're talking about. You want us to pack up our lives? Leave everything, everybody we know? This is our home here. Wherever Meg is, is home. I don't want to talk about this right now. I really don't. Well, you're going to have to someday and soon because you keep putting it off. I mean, either you're tired or you're busy or you got a headache. Or you're who giving me a headache. Look, Brent. Believe me, I know how hard it would be to leave the journal. But we have got 
We have got to put Meg first in our lives. Meg always comes first with me. Well, then at least consider what I'm saying. Look, I know the Springfield is home for now. I mean, it hasn't always been that way, has it? I mean, you left once before to, to raise Blake. That was Blake. different. Well, how was it different? Because I had to get out of town because of everything that Roger was doing. <sighs> Look, we will talk about this, all right? Just not now. Kevin is in the hospital. Blake, I have no idea where she is. Let me deal with this. All right. All right. But hear this. I'm not going to drop it because we both know this is too important. I said we'll talk about it. Okay, Blake, slow down and tell me exactly what happened. I told you, I think I killed Ben Warren. No, you probably just knocked the man unconscious. Oh, he's unconscious, all right. He's dead. Blake, is he still breathing? Well, he's not moving. And, and, and he's bleeding where I hit him over the head really hard. For crying out loud, Blake, that's not what I asked. Rick! Rick, just tell me what to do! Ah! Blake, what is it? What's going on? Forget about the ambulance. Just a little mouth-to-mouth of your phone. Thank you, you jerk! No, 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 not entirely. My head smarts. You have some respect for the dad, will you? Oh, I could really kill you. All right, Blake, say, say something here, because I'm, I'm going to call the police. Just... Just talk to me. Rick, cancel the ambulance, okay? Ben Warren's not dead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I bothered you. Look, don't hang up the phone. Just, uh, Kevin's been hurt. What? He fell off a chair. Oh, my God. Is he okay? He's going to be fine. He's got some scratches and bruises, but uh, he's going to be fine. Ross is uh, filling out the release papers right now. Oh, thank goodness. Look, he wants to talk to you. Um, I know he's been crazy looking for you. Uh, I'm going to put him on the phone. No. No, Rick, please, please, don't tell Ross that I'm on the phone. Please, don't tell him that I'm, I'm, I'm here with... With Ben. Blake, what the hell is going on? Because your son needs you right now. I will meet Ross at home, okay? Just, I, I'm begging you, please, please don't tell anybody about this phone call. No, that doesn't work for me. Tell me what's going on. I am just trying to make sure that everybody gets what they want. Oh, we know what you want. <laughs> Especially Abby. By assaulting the DA... All right, listen up, slugger, okay? Abby's got enough problems without you making things worse. Do you understand? Oh, I don't think things can get any worse. Look at I said that. Are you sure Kevin's okay? Yes, in fact, uh, Ross is uh, leaving right now. I want to say goodbye to my son. Cookie? Do we have a cookie? Hey, Ray. Uh... Listen, thank you for all your help. Mama. Yeah, we're going to go see Mama. Yeah. And if uh, Blake should call or stop by, let her know what happened. Right? We'll be to help. Uh, let's go Kevin, find her care, son. Yeah, let's go find her crib. I love you. You called mom when you thought you'd killed me. It made you look so wholesome and old-fashioned. Calling mom, not clobbering me on the head with a, with a what, a vase? You know, go tell that to the escort service and ask them that you want a date. Because I'm going to go home to my little boy. He's been in an accident. So have I. No you deserved you. every single thing you got. And what about you, Blake? Would Kevin have been hurt if you hadn't been over here playing sex games with your husband's brother? I handcuffed you to that bed to make a point, not to score points. Trust me. Whatever lies you have to tell yourself. Here. Go handcuff yourself. I'm going home to my little boy. He needs me. We all have needs, Blake. And when your needs get the best of you, you'll be back. And I'll be ready. Hey, 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 you can't leave. You cannot leave. We're not finished talking yet. What is left for us to say to Plenty. each other? 